Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. So, these two individuals. The man on the right, if for those who don't know, is actor Shia LaBeouf. The woman on the right, I mean on the left, goes by the name of F.A. FKA Twigs. Um, I don't really know much about the woman on the left. I do know much about Shia LaBeouf. But this woman is suing Shia LaBeouf for sexual assault, abuse, and for and accuses him of giving her an STD. Um, so, yes. F.A. Twigs sues Shia LaBeouf accusing actor of sexual assault um sexual batteries assault and emotional distress um singer so she's a singer fka twigs born to holly debrett barrett filed a lawsuit against shia labeouf accusing the actor of illicit abuse including sexual battery assault and inflicting inflictions of emotional distress the New York Times broke the story on Friday, December 11th. The lawsuit states that Mr. LaBeouf, also knowing, gave Miss Barnett a sexually transmitted disease, an STD. According to the New York Times, the lawsuit lays out a number of troubling examples of abuse, including one instance just after Valentine's Day 2009 when Miss Barrett and Mr. LaBeouf were driving together towards Los Angeles when the actor removed his seatbelt and threatened to crash the car unless she said that she loved him. Ugh. Man, this guy is crazy. And disturbed, begging to be let out the car, Mrs. Barrett jumped out of a gas station and took her bags out of the trunk Mr. LaBeouf followed and allegedly assaulted her, throwing her against the car and screaming at her. Another time on the same trip, Mr. LaBeouf allegedly broke her, uh, woke her up in the middle of the night, choking her. The relationship lasted just under a year, but the gas station incident, the lawsuit states, is part of a larger pattern of abuse by Mr. LaBeouf. Miss Barrett told the New York Times that her aim in coming forward was to show how even outwardly successful artists with a strong support network can fall victim to a cycle of abuse. I'd like, I think this is what she says, um, I like to be able to raise awareness on the tactics that abusers use to control you and take away your agency um, urgency she said in an interview in an email sent on thursday december 10th mr lebrock respond to the issue and raise issues raised by miss barrett i am not in any position to tell anyone how my behavior this is the buff um made them feel he wrote to the new york times I have no excuse for my alcoholism, so he's blaming alcohol for his abusive behavior or aggressions, only rationalizations. I have been abusive to myself and everyone around me for years. I have a history of hurting the people closest to me. I'm ashamed of that history, and I'm sorry to those I hurt. There is nothing else I can really say. This is from LaBeouf. Uh, Mr. McBluff and his representatives have now comment on the lawsuit at this time. Uh, the lawsuit also lays out previous examples of abuse, including uh, alleged allegations from other ex-girlfriends of Mr. LaBeouf, stylist Karen Foe, who alleged that the actor had drunkenly pinned her to the bed and head-butted her to the point where she bled. So much goes into breaking down a man or woman to make them okay with a certain kind of treatment, she told the New York Times. In response to the allegation, uh, additional allegations, Mr. Brock wrote in a separate email that 
Many of these allegations are not true. He did, however, owe these women the opportunity to air their statements publicly and accept accountability for things I have done. That's what LeBron says. He also pointed out that he continues to be sober, a sober member of the 12th step program and in is in theory i am not cured of my PS, uh, ptsd and alcoholism he said but i am committed to doing what i need to do to recover and i will forever be sorry to the people that i may have harmed Ugh. i don't believe he's changed i don't think he's sorry he's only sorry that he's got caught I've noticed that I don't hear Time's Up or Me Too going after Shia LaBeouf the way they will go after someone like Chris Brown or Bill Cosby or R. Kelly. I don't see a lot of big news headlines going after Shia LaBeouf. Oh, that's why, because he has the complexion of protection. And if you can look at FKA Twigs, um, at her complexion, um, this is a black woman going after a white man. So you, I don't think the lamestream media is going to go after Shia LaBeouf. They're probably going to try to find a way to, they're going to try to find a way to make Shia LaBeouf look like the victim because of his skin color, because he's a white man and he has the complexion of protection. They're not going to go after him as hard as they would go after an R. Kelly. Not saying R. Kelly is innocent, but I know Shia LaBeouf ain't innocent. But you see, I don't hear the Me Too or Time's Up going after him hard. Oh, that's right. Because they were too busy paying for their luxury hotels and stuff like that. I talked about the live stream how that Time's Up organization was nothing more than a money grab by some of those elites. But it wasn't really about helping victims of sexual abuse. I don't see the feminist movement. I don't see the feminists. I don't see uh, the... Yeah, I don't see the feminists going after Shia LaBeouf. But let, let Shia LaBeouf be, have a darker skin tone. And they would have went after him. So, I hope FKA Twigs gets justice. And I hope Shia LaBeouf, Shia LaBeouf needs to go to jail for this. I, I'm surprised he has not been arrested yet. Because if, I'm telling you, if this was someone like a R. Kelly, they would have him. Right now, they have R. Kelly in jail. They have Cootie Gooder Jr. in jail. They have Bill Cosby in jail. Why is Shia LaBeouf not in jail? Shia LaBeouf needs to go to jail. Yeah, uh, but like I said, what happened to this woman should not have happened. I, if this, if all this is true, I hope FKA Twigs, uh, Miss Barrett, I hope she gets justice. And if Charlotte Buff is really did these things, he probably did. I, I know he did. He needs to go underneath the jail. He needs to be sent to, not to mention she's now suffering from an illness an STD, that's, that's, and this syphilis is the only thing that ha is curable. That's the only STD that's curable or sort of curable. Or it's treated better than the other viruses. But depending on the virus, it can be very, it's, that, that's not curable. If she has an STD, she is stuck with that forever. And Charlotte Buff should be held accountable. There is laws that if you pass an STD and and it was done on purpose or you didn't tell that you have an STD, you can actually get face legal action. And that's why she's also filing the lawsuit. I'm glad she's filing the lawsuit. But Shia Buff, a lawsuit is not punishment enough. He needs to suffer severe punishment he needs prison time he needs to suffer pr uh, jail time shame on Shia LaBeouf 
No way I'm ever supporting any of his movies ever again after this. Yeah, I can't support people like Sean LaBeouf. If I had before, I'd never again. I don't think I ever really supported him, but I know I'm not going to support him ever. Yeah, screw him. He can go to jail. He can go to hell. Not only, he, uh, not only does Mr. LaBeouf need to go to jail, he needs to go to hell. Yeah, screw him. But like I said, no big news. This is not being plastered all over the mainstream media. Oh, because he's not Chris Brown. Oh, because he's not R. Kelly. Let's just face it. Because Sean LaBeouf is white. And Chris Brown and R. Kelly were black. That's why their stories were plastered all over mainstream media. But they're not going to go after Sean LaBeouf. The Me Too and Time's Up. They're not going after Sean LaBeouf. The feminist movement is not going after Sean LaBeouf. That tells you the hypocrisy of some of these organizations that's supposed to do stuff for women or fight against sexual abuse, but then they don't go after people who have actually been accused of it because of their their complexion. So that shows you how hypocritical they are and how biased and racist those organizations are. But that's all I have to say about this situation. Like I said, I hope FKA Twigs gets justice. And I hope Shia LaBeouf suffers. Shia LaBeouf needs to suffer for this. But I want to know what y'all think in the comment section. Write down in the comment section. Um, I want to know what y'all think in the comment section. Write down in the comment section. Make sure you hit that like button. Share the video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And hit that notification. I will leave a link to this article for you to read at your own time. But that's all I have to say about this. This is J-Dog. Thank you for watching. And I hope to catch you all in another video. Peace everyone.